Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about the AS Rock Q270 Pro. It's this motherboard right here. We're talking about how we set it up, how many parts it can handle, how we're powering it, and so on. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Check out our other social media accounts on Rumble, Bitch, You Gab, Mines, Parlor. And if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU or ASIC mining farm, go to CryptoLLC.org. Or if you're looking to purchase GPUs, we also sell GPUs at CryptoLLC.org. Minimum order is 10 units. We also have power supplies and various other GPU-related products. Make sure you check out that site. All right, so this Q270 right here, motherboard, we got one just for testing purposes to see if it actually works as intended. We want it to run 13 GPUs, uh, 3080s, 3090s, you know, so on. And we want to make sure that it can handle the 3000 series GPUs. So after testing it, after updating the BIOS, after updating all the drivers, after having Windows installed, Windows 11, going through everything and running it for a couple of days, it is actually doing a good job. It has 13 GPUs on it. We're running the Gigabyte 3080 LHR cards. So we got 10 at the top, two on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side. So that's 13 GPUs. It has, uh, you can see 13 slots there. So all slots are in. Motherboard is also powered by additional power coming through a SATA and a Molex connector right there. And then another Molex connector right here. And how we're powering it is we're powering it from two power supplies. This is a 2400 Delta power supply. So it is a Platinum Delta server PSU. Then we have a 1400, uh, I think this is a Dell or maybe an HP uh, power supply, also a platinum power supply. So we're running the motherboard and four GPUs off of this power supply. So it's going to be these two GPUs here and these two GPUs at the top. They're running off of this power supply. Motherboard plug right here, 24 pin. Then it has uh, some CPU being uh, taken off from it. It's basically a special connector going over there and plug it in, plug it in to the CPU ports. It's running off of a regular SSD, 480 gig, uh, and so on. You can run an NVMe, but we just want to test it out on an SSD. So it's all running off of this. Now, we were running a special connectors here because we have to run the 6-pin uh, PCI Express connector right here. Uh, and we got to run it towards our SATA and Molex connector, so we have to run special converters to make that happen. Otherwise, it only has one, uh, this breakout board only has one Molex connector. So we needed special adapters to do that. But everything is working great. Uh, it's powering everything just fine. Uh, as, as for this PSU, uh, it's running nine cards on it. So nine on this one, four on this one makes 13 cards. So it's running just nine cards. Uh, also, everything is good. We're running everything off of two, uh, one and a half actually, actually one and a half uh, plugs. So that means we have one plug coming from the breakout board here. That's one, and then we have half, meaning that you see this one right here is powering two. So one, two, so it's one and a half. We focus on that. We can see it's one and a half. So give it plenty of uh, amperage. So make sure that none of our wires are be heating up or anything like that so been running this for some time now oh by the way uh, it's running 16 gig ram one ram stick at 16 gigs running a i3 i think processor so after running for a couple of days everything is working great uh, none of the wires are overheating or having any you know, problems motherboard is very stable so we yeah, have to make sure because all motherboards are different and we have to make sure that a motherboard runs the way we want it to run and it runs for days and days and days without problem before we actually incorporate that motherboard into our purchasing list. So we want to create different channels of product uh, so we don't have to you know, sit on one motherboard for all eternity. We have to have different products, different uh, motherboards so we can actually have like different supply. We can, we can bring in supply for various uh, various situations because maybe sometime in the future maybe the B250s will not be available then we have this few B270 uh, Pro BTC Plus from AS Rock. So everything is running great. Uh, if you're looking to purchase a board like this you sure can. It works just fine. 13 GPUs running at full speed on LHR. 
which is around 74 mega hashes on Ethereum. So everything is working out just fine. Um, in terms of uh, powering the risers, uh, we're running just regular risers and uh, how we're powering it is we're having one VGA cable or EVGA cable. Uh, this is a PCI Express cable coming in and it's being uh, splitted onto two connectors and then those two connectors are plugged into the risers. So it's powering two risers on one cable. Doing just fine because the cable can handle around 150, 200 watts. So it's just fine. And uh, so that's how you can run it. You can run it something very similar like this. So this uh, motherboard, final conclusion is it is a good board. It is doing a good job. Um, it has all those basic features like AC power on. Uh, it has uh, the uh, on-screen detection of PCI Express slots when you're actually booting it up. It uh, I can turn off HD audio, which I always do. I turn on IG, IGP, I think it's called, or CPU display. I turn that on for the motherboard to make sure that you know it has everything we need. So we run the Windows off of that, uh, off the CPU, and then all the 3080s would actually just concentrate on mining. So it's a very good setup here. Works out. It's uh, it's something we could do rather than you know doing uh, the the uh, EVGA 1600. You can see this setup here. It's a B250. It's got three power supplies. You got a 850 there, 1616. So, so it's a different setup. And uh, we try to diversify our motherboards and rigs so we can we have different supplies. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like, you know what to do. Hit like, subscribe to the bell. Go to cryptollc.org. If you're looking to buy GPUs or you are looking to invest, you're looking to build out a farm, have us manage it for you. Go to cryptollc.org. Check that out. And until next time, bye.